Hey, you know this is El Man. I'm here bringing you some hip hop news. So, in the last couple of weeks, you probably heard about Kanye. Kanye said he was going to go DEF CON 3 on the Jews. I thought it was DEF CON 4, DEF CON 5, but there's different levels to DEF CON. Um, me, personally, I'm technically Jewish. My mother's Jewish, but I am German and Filipino. I'm not offended. It, it takes a lot to offend me. I'm not going to get offended by something one human says. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of Jews that are offended, some real Jews. Um, I, but what's more concerning, the, the one concerning part of this is that there are people that blindly follow celebrities and follow Kanye. Uh, I even know someone that has a Kanye 2020 tattoo on his arm. And uh, some of these people might follow along with this Jewish hatred uh, that he's been spewing out. Personally, me, this is a take that probably not a lot of people think. I think he's trolling. I think that he's seen so much atrocities and so many lies in the media that he's just like, you know what, you guys are all a bunch of jokes, so I'm going to treat you like a joke. And the reason I think that is because I'm like that. I see so many lies in media. So oftentimes when I go on to talk shows, I am trolling and I'm just saying things to get a reaction. I don't think that he believes every single thing that he's saying. I don't. I, I, I think he's actually saying things uh, to see how far he can push the envelope. That's my thoughts on Kanye. I don't think, um, yeah, I would have to say like Scott Adams, I, I don't think he's just, it's just mental illness. I don't think it's, he's a crazy guy. I think maybe there's five to 15% of him that's maybe a little off. I mean, we're all a little off. We're all a little strange these days or every day. People have always been strange, but I, I think it's more like 80% intentional pushing of the envelope. So that's my take. Do you think that Kanye has gone cuckoo crazy and he doesn't know what he's doing? I, I'm sorry, but just his comedic timing alone if you see how he does the setup and the punchline, it it's he's a professional comedian. I mean, the guy, he, the guy is impeccable timing. You don't see too many people in mental hospitals and straight jackets with this kind of comedic timing like Kanye. I don't know. I think he's a master performer. I don't think the guy is absolutely crazy. I think he's just a little, a little crazy. Uh, and uh, I think he has balls. I think he's pushing the envelope. And um, of course, you know, I don't want to see anybody pushing divide, racial divide, religious divide. We have enough things that naturally divide us. So I wonder what his end game is. If you have to, if, if you're going to ask me for a prediction, I'm a trained psychic, by the way. Not that that means anything, but I did get trained to see what all the hoopla is about. Hey, the only way to comment on something is to really explore it. And I would say that within a year, we're going to see Kanye coming out with his own websites or apps or some type of institution or location that's very Kanye that maybe he won't need the mainstream media. So he's just pushing them all away. I don't know. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see. Signing off. You've been listening to an L-Man rant.